We'll now introduce the Lancaster model of armed conflict. Two military units are engaged in combat with each other. And we will look at the size of these military units over time. More technically, R of T and B of T represent combat effectiveness, but we'll interpret that in a very simple way as the size of the armies. And we'll ask, how do the size of the armies change over time? And there we'll look at Red Army as our example. There are three things that happen to change the size of Red Army. Well, first of all, they could receive reinforcements. So that has a plus sign in front of it. It's increasing the size of Red Army. But they lose soldiers. due to combat. And they also suffer operational losses. This is everything that causes soldiers to be removed from combat that is not direct enemy action. So, for example, deaths due to sickness, or soldiers deserting, or soldiers being withdrawn intentionally to go to other fronts, things like that. We can't say a lot about the reinforcement rate. It can just be a function of time. The combat loss of Red Army depends on Blue Army. And it depends on two factors. It depends on the size of Blue Army. And it also depends on how effective individual Blue Army soldiers are on their training and on their equipment, for example. That will give us a term like this. So B of T is just the size of Blue Army. B is a numbering measuring how well trained and well equipped the soldiers are. Operational loss is incredibly complicated and hard to work with, and we will take the coward's way out and only look at encounters where the operational loss is zero. This is realistic for a lot of relatively short-term engagements. So if a battle lasts a month or so, we can probably get away with this. Although it depends on, on the situations of the battle. Blue Army also has these factors. 
and Blue Army and Red Army are treated as being similar to each other. So we see the same terms. The size of Blue Army appears here. The size of Red Army appears here. The strength of Blue Army, their equipment and training. The strength of Red Army, their equipment and training. A reinforcement rate and a reinforcement rate. And the system is linear, but it's non homogeneous. When we analyze the system, we'll look at the cases where there are no reinforcements, where the reinforcement rates are zero. And that will give us a very straightforward linear system, linear homogeneous system.